Voltaire said, It is forbidden to kill. Therefore, all murderers are punished, unless they kill in large numbers and to the sound of trumpets. I know, right, Voltaire? Seriously, what's up with war? I do not get it. I don't understand the military. I don't understand war. But I want to, so I'm going to talk about it with you. On today's episode of Tank, we're going to talk about some tanks. Not really. We're not, we don't even mention tank. I say we, I'm talking about me and all the voices in my little crazy head. My name is Jenny Lee McGalliard. Welcome to Tank. Let's talk about the military. on the history of war right, and yeah. military and why yeah. we have military, which is very obvious, but obviously you don't understand. No, no. she doesn't. I, I was just telling Jenny that war happens because of the demons that rule the world, and you could choose to drink their blood or not, and, <sighs> and that creates two factions no. at constant war. Like I'm, That's crazy. That's not a real thing. And so if you have something to uh, add that's based in reality, I would I love- don't like your toad. I was walking down the street one day when a big old tank got in my way, yeah. He was fighting some nasty war. I said, hey, Joe, I've been there before. I looked straight down in the barrel, said, you don't have to be so feral, no. You don't have to be so mad. You don't have to do the mouth of a bad man. You don't have to do anything, you see. All I want you to is, all I want you to is. So weird Thanks to religion for being unclear Yeah, thanks to creepy guy In the back of church, oh Thanks to Tommy now, it didn't hurt Thanks to Billy now, it didn't hurt Thanks to Molly now It didn't hurt It didn't hurt It didn't hurt, no Wow So, first things first, special segment. I might come up with a theme song or something for that, but for now, I'm just going to go special segment, special segment, special segment. All right, there we go. So, here's what's happened in the special segment for this week. I have a stack of 22 poems. Oh, they're good poems. They are so good. They were written by a lonely, sad, 13-year-old girl named me. I thought I was an amazing poet at the age of 13. So I've got a stack of 22 of them here. I'm not going to read all 22. Don't go away. It's okay. I'm only going to read one for embarrassment and humor's sake. It's going to be fun. I've brought my husband, Adam, into the studio. Say hello. Hello. Okay, very good. That's my husband. He's very handsome, and he's going to pick a number 1 through 22. So go ahead, Adam. Pick a number 1 through 22. I've got a face for radio. I pick... (laughs) You 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 have the most... Dad jokes. To be not a dad, it's incredible the amount of dad jokes you have. Yeah, I've got more. No, thank you. Just okay. one through 22. <laughs> one through 22, I pick 17. 17. Woo, I got to do some counting. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17. Ooh, untitled. Here we go. Are you ready, Adam? I'm ready. I'm reading this to you, okay? (laughs) That's a little creepy from my 13-year-old self. That went in a weird direction. All right, here we go. Touch my heart and love me. Tell me everything will be all right. Your love is so obvious to see. It shines to me even through the night. I feel your power as you watch me. You can tell me it will be all right. My problems, you can see. You help me through rough nights. And that's what I'll say to him. 
when I pray tonight. It's my love letter to Christ. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, you think I'm Christ. That's right. Oh, man, that took a really creepy turn. Like, it got weird there for a second. I was like, well, you know, whatever, kind of a generic love poem. And then, as you watch me through the night. All right. Uh, There we go. Special segment. It's so weird. Thanks to religion for being unclear. Yeah. Thanks to creepy guy in the back of church. Okay, before we get started into the episode, one last quick order of business. Here's a thing. I need you to do it. Go do it right now. All right. Listen, this is it's so important. I need you to think of three people that would love this podcast. I don't know. Maybe they're just like podcast freaks. They just love all things podcast. Maybe they're like huge fans of comedy. They just devour comedy. Or maybe they're like, they're, you know, they're afraid and hurt and strange and alone in the world. And they need someone that they can relate to, like another crazy person that they can listen to and go, hey, I'm not alone in my insanity. Whoever it is, think of three people that would love this podcast. And I, right now, I want you to stop and I want you to send them a message. Don't just tag them. Come on, send them a Facebook message, send them a text, send them an email, give them a phone call, go knock on their door. However, you want to directly communicate with them, make it personal. Pause the podcast right now and tell them that they should listen to Tank. Do it right now. Pause. Thank you. You're fantastic. I love you. I'm so glad you did that. Listen, I love this thing we've got going on. Like, I know it's just you and me, and it's like very intimate and personal, and I'm digging that. But like, let's bring some other people in, you know? Let's be adventurous. Let's, let's have a whole, let's have a whole group thing going on. Come on. It'll be fun. Tell all your friends now. Go ahead. Facebook, Twitter, social media. Get out there. Share Tank with the world. But make sure you share it personally with three specific people that you think would enjoy it. That's important. But also share it with the world. Share it to the general public. Share, 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 share. And follow. Of course, it's at The Tank Podcast. You'll find it everywhere on social media at The Tank Podcast. Also, the website is tankpodcast.com. So you can hit me up there. You can join a mailing list. You can reach out to me directly and say like, hey, you're really weird. I think you need help. And I'll be like, yeah, I know I'm getting it. Okay, cool. Thank you so much. Uh, Now let's get let's get into this podcast, right? That's what you're here for. So let's do that. This is tank. War has always been around since all of recorded history. All, all of recorded history, there has been war. We've been killing each other for all kinds of reasons. And we do it in a strategic and clever way. And groups of us get together and say, hey, I will devote my life to fighting war. And that's what I'm going to do. And all the rest of us are like, hey, thanks for that. We're going to put a ribbon on our car and let you know that we thank you, right? I mean, that's just, that's kind of how it goes. I don't mean to be offensive to anyone in the military at all or anyone who fights wars. I just personally do not understand war. And I'm sorry if that sounds stupid, but I don't know that I can understand why somebody's like, hey, I want that. And that other person's like, but it's mine. And then the original person says, yeah, but I want it. So now you die. Right? Isn't that kind of just a simplification of what war is? That is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. (laughs) Oh, hey, Terry. Actually, I'm surprised you're here. I did not expect you to chime in on this topic, like, at all. Why not? You don't think that I know a lot about war? No, actually, I don't. I mean, I don't take you for the type of person that knows a lot about war. I mean, it's surprising. Well, I play World of Warcraft. Well, that doesn't actually count. I don't. Why not? Huh? (laughs) Because World of Warcraft. It's clearly about war, (laughs) and I've logged over ten thousand hours of gameplay, so I feel like I'm well versed in the crafting of war. Okay, you know what I mean. I mean, how many hours have you spent fighting in a war? My God, ten thousand hours. Do you know what you could have done with ten thousand hours? 
That's that, crazy. You know, I was becoming an expert. What? They say that it takes 10,000 hours of practice to become an expert at something. And True. I have officially logged 11,387 <laughs> hours. Wow. You needed Aura, a war expert. And so here I am. You got me. <laughs> But that's a fantasy no. world. It's a fantasy world, Terry. You're like a video game no, expert. What, what is a video game? Have you what? seen those army commercials? Oh my god, yes. You cannot avoid them. They're like in theaters. They play them like they're trailers. And right. Yeah, yeah. it's so insane. They're everywhere. You know that war is like a video game. You look like you're really into this. You guys want a real challenge? As a soldier in the United States Army, you'll find out what you're really made of and how far you can go. See, the Army wants those guys because they're good at video games, which yeah. means they're good at war. Yeah, I mean, they're war I, experts. Yeah, I can't argue with that. I mean, I think it's no. crazy, but I mean, you make a fair point, you know? Thank you. Yeah, I mean, boots on the ground does kind of equal fingers on buttons yeah. these days. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And I'm super good at pressing buttons. <laughs> it's probably my best skill second to magic because I'm really right. good at magic. Yeah, I know. Do you, do you want to see a magic trick? I'm a really good no. magician. Nope, 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 oh, nope. Oh, come on. Just one? No. I don't, I'm sorry. Maybe on another episode. Uh, but I'm really curious since you made a good point. I, I just... Thanks. Yeah, I, I'm... What is your opinion? Okay. Yeah, like, let's roll with it, Terry. What is the purpose but of war? To solve conflict. But I feel like war is conflict. So how can you really solve something with Ugh. itself? Ugh. What? It's, just, it's just so stupid. Listen, how people cannot agree with each other. Right. So they have to kill each other. Okay, yeah. I mean, yeah, that's what it seems like to me. But yeah. I, but people resort to violence. And I, that just doesn't seem like a oh. reasonable adult human thing no. to do. I don't relate at no, all. Listen, there are big things at stake here. Like, like what? Like who owns this piece of land or who what? gets control of this resource? Or yeah, maybe, maybe like an orc has gone back in time and he's changed the timeline so that he doesn't what? drink the orc the, or the, uh, the demon blood. Um, I mean, I guess if we lived in a reality of orcs and demon blood, that would be a reasonable way uh, to have solve. Have you seen our world leaders? Someone <laughs> is definitely drinking the blood of an undead demon. <laughs> okay, yeah. I mean, I, I will yeah. give you that. It's not impossible. But all right, back to my question. Okay. Yeah. I've never been in an argument where I felt like violence would really solve everything. And I, I suppose uh, if like someone were enacting violence on my loved one, then maybe. But that's just... But, I never... I just don't relate to why, that. Why? Why? If some dude is holding your puppy hostage and you could just kill him, then go for it and save your puppy. But that's like an ethical dilemma. And it begs the question, what kind of psychopath holds a puppy hostage? Like, who is this person that's well, doing that? You know, I, they, they don't always start out as psychopaths. Yeah. I mean, the Burning Legion was created to rid the world of all life. And that sounds really bad, but when you look at Sarah huh? Cruz's background, you see that he was really just trying to save the world from the Void Demons. Oh my god, I have no idea what you're talking about right now, but I think, okay, I think what you're trying to say is that, yes. okay, bad guys have right. a backstory, right? And they're Definitely. just they're just trying to do the right thing. But it's not the right thing. Ugh. Killing lots of people is never the right thing. I mean, most of our economy, like, a lot, like... Over half of our discretionary spending is on military, and that's crazy money. And and all over some guys, I mean, let's face it, it's always a guy, right? I mean, but like some dudes misplaced do-gooder feelings. I don't know. I don't know that I'm buying that one. Uh, I have something to say about this. Ah, guy who has the best opinion about everything. Yeah. Yes, welcome. Yeah, I like your glasses, dude. Okay, well, I'm not here to talk about fashion. Obviously, I'm uh, here to school you on the history of war right, and yeah. military and why yeah. we have military, which is very obvious, but obviously you don't understand. No, no. she doesn't. I, I don't. was just telling Jenny that war happens because of the demons that rule the world, and you could choose to drink their blood or not, and <sighs> that creates two factions no. at constant war. Like I'm, <laughs> That's crazy. That's not a real thing. And so if you have something to uh, add that's based in reality, I would I love- like a toad. I'm sorry. I don't mean to offend anyone. Yeah. I just, I just don't, I don't want to talk about World of Warcraft. Oh, I mean, you made some God. great points, thank and you. I guess that's yeah, not, thank you. yeah, it's not fair. I'm sorry. Um, if you two ladies are done with your emotions, I'd like to school you yeah. now. Please, uh. go on. The floor is yours. Okay. Like I said, um, 
that were really, I was going to say that Darwin said that mm-hmm. it is the survival of the fittest. Okay. Right? Yeah. We right. like violence and blood because that's how we can survive. True. If I want the big stick, but you have it, yeah. I can obviously just kill you. And then I have the big stick, yeah. and I win, ah. and I survive. Yeah, you know I'm not super well versed in Darwinism. It's obvious, right? Okay, <laughs> but I, I feel like maybe that's stretching no. his theories a little further than he intended. Like I'm pretty sure compassion, empathy, community no. like, also played a big part in yeah. our evolution mm. as yeah. a species. Yeah, you know what? Certainly, Calibdor wouldn't be so diverse and united if, if they wouldn't have okay. formed um, the alliance. Terry. Yeah, and and I don't mean this in any negative way. As if you've okay. really contributed to the conversation, thank you meaningfully. I, I really like some of the points you've made. But thank you. Please stop making World of Warcraft uh, references. Please, Halo. No, Portal. What? No, Grand Theft Auto. Yes, please. Yes. No. 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 Uh. Please. Let's just stick to military conflict and war and the flesh and blood breathing life. <laughs> fine one time i went to the zoo and they had an aviary and i what? started a battle with a butterfly that butterfly uh, was out for blood uh, stupid he was okay. stupid butterflies yep, right um well, guy yeah let's, let's get back to darwinism and okay. your extremist take on it how about that it's not extreme i read everything that he ever wrote obviously so i know <laughs> what i'm talking no. about no yes. i do not believe that for one second well, but we, we'll just go with it that's fine i read everything dr seuss wrote all of it now that i believe yeah every single piece yeah that's not surprising okay listen um yeah. back back to the war conversation thank like, you fine. real war guy yeah, all right if it's if that's our true nature yes then why don't i feel that way and and why doesn't uh, pretty much every single person uh, i know feel that way like uh, I might yeah. want that piece of cake you're eating, yeah. but I am not going to kill you for it. Yeah, that's uh. because you don't have to. That's not how it works anymore at all. Uh. But, okay, but I thought that was our nature, so... Uh, if there was only one nerd rope left, then I uh. would kill you See? for it. Yeah, See, I when would. land or resources are limited, then our no. true nature shows, obviously. Oh, yeah. That is absurd. No, it's not. And... It doesn't explain anything. Why do we have war right now? Uh, Why do we have war now? Do you even listen? Yes. No, obviously not. Resources, right. clearly. Ownership, yep. obviously. Yep. Um, That's true. No, see, yes. no, I'm, I'm still so lost. There's enough yeah. of everything for everyone. I mean, yes, no. people are starving and thirsty and poor, but they're not the ones fighting. I mean, honestly, most of the time, they're the ones being attacked. Oh, that's why they're poor. If they fought, they obviously wouldn't be poor anymore. Oh. No. Yes. No. Oh, Come yes. on, that is a terrible thing to say, and I yeah. do not agree, nor do I buy that That's as true. Harsh. Well, just ask Britain then. What? Why? Because they left the EU? How is... I don't understand how that's relevant. No. That happened without war. No, obviously I'm talking about the Civil what? War. Oh, uh, yeah, that was my favorite Captain no, America the movie. war, obviously. Oh. Well, I hate history. It's bored, so I don't want to yeah. talk to you anymore. Weird. Oh. You're weird. Okay, well, well, thank you for showing up, Terry. I really, yeah. I actually learned a lot from you today, even if yeah. some of it was about stuff that I really don't care about. I yeah. didn't. Whatever. You're weird. I had fun. Okay. Bye. 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 Ugh. I'm so glad she's gone. Now, back to what I was saying about the war. Jeez. Yeah, yeah, okay. So I think you were talking about... Maybe the, like the Revolutionary no. War, which is fine. Let's let's talk about no. some actual war. That's good. Let's see if we can uh, figure this out. No, idiot. I am talking about the Civil War. Britain lost the Revolutionary War. Yeah, they did. And then that made them mad. I mean, I, I guess it probably did. I'm not a history buff. Obviously. Right. Yeah. Um, but it, it makes sense yeah. what you're so saying. What do you think they did about that? I don't know. Like, realized it was for the best or something? Good. You're an idiot. No. <laughs> oh, my God. You're so, so mean. They fought back. But there wasn't another war. Obviously there was. The Civil War. But that was in America. Yeah. And they started it. What? Yes. No, listen. They yes. did not. I, look, I do not know a lot about American history. That's And obvious. I never claimed to. Hmm. But I 
No, the, the Civil War was straight up 100% American, no. and it was basically about slavery. No, it, what? Slavery? Yes. No, what terrible history book have you been reading? <laughs> what? Every history book ever? No, obviously the Rothschilds, who own Britain, wanted the land in America. So they infiltrated no. the country, and they made the North and the South mad at each other, mm-hmm. so they'd fight and destroy the country, and Britain could come in and save no. them and claim ownership of the no. land. Obviously, pick up a no, book. No, just no. That is, that is not an any book, Every and book. that is not an actual theory. Yes, no, yeah, yeah, it's not a theory. It's a fact. All right, whatever. What? How does how does this prove your point? Oh, because obviously, if they would have just been violent instead of sneaky, then uh, they would have won. Yeah, because Americans what? fought and they killed each other, and that made them the better country. And now America is the best, most free country in the entire world. It's the best, <laughs> obviously, get- and Britain <laughs> okay, is not. That's- yeah. That's arguable. I think that's no. more of an opinion. Fact. Whee! Oh. oh my god. Oh. Hello. Oh god. Who are you? My name is Samuel J. Tweedy of the 7th Arkansas Infantry oh. Regiment. What? Perfect, perfect. So excellent. You know that huh? the British caused your civil my war. My dear young boy. I oh know nothing of the British, but ha, I will ha. hereupon speak of these matters, such as war. <gasps> but wait, if you're from Arkansas, that's Confederate. Why don't you have a Southern accent? Child, do you not realize that at the time of the Civil War, soldiers, men, women, children, boys, young, young yeah. boys, okay, I get it. they did not have Southern Accents? Really? No, this is oh, only no. an event that occurred beyond the time of war. No way. Whereupon Irish immigrants migrated southwards. No, young woman, oh, child. That's true. We only spoke in an accent of some bastardized British tongue. Wow. Whereupon yeah. you hear this. Oh, I really had yeah. no idea. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's true. I read that in a book, mm-hmm. so obviously it's true. Wow. Okay, then. Mm. Um, well, welcome to the show. Yes, allow mm-hmm. me to continue. Yeah. Please. I will tell you. <laughs> Because I was there, fighting the Civil War. Yeah. One of the bloodiest battles of the Civil War, the Battle of Shiloh. Wow. Oh. I was there fighting Battle of Shiloh. It was indeed so bloody that whereupon the battle ended, our regiment merged with another. Yes, it merged with another. We wow. had lost so many men, so oh. many, many young, young boys. Wow. Oh. This is great. I mean, I... I Never mm-hmm. talked with a Civil War soldier before because they're all dead, obviously. Yes. So, yes. God, obviously. You, yeah, you've got me saying obviously. So, anyways, I'm curious. Um, oh. what, what was it like? What oh, was your like? Woman, child? It was an uncomfortable and yeah. weary time. I bet. Whereupon oh. I saw piles and piles of charred corpses gazing God. upon the sky, gazing toward the heaven toward which they may ascend. Oh my God. It was a weary time, child, whereupon I found myself lonely. Oh. Previous to the Battle of Shiloh, the night whereupon before I was fighting the Battle of Shiloh, I found mm-hmm. myself seeking upon myself a comfort, support, yeah. encouragement, and sure. mayhaps a distraction from the bloodied, dead eyes of my brethren, oh. gazing upon the sky to which they might ascend. Oh my God. God. This is awesome. That, yeah, I I this is pretty great. This. Yeah, this is really great. Mm-hmm. Keep going, please. This yes. is incredible. Whereupon... Yeah. I found myself sipping upon some rot gut. Sweet. And I, Samuel J. Tweedy, gazing upon my brother, my brethren, mm. Johnny with hair spoon, mm. old Jonathan with hair spoon, was beside me, whereupon mm. we were dizzy with starlight in our eyes. He mm. had purchased a barrack favorite. Mm. Oh, What's that? Sweet. What is that? Oh my god, you don't know what a barrack favorite no. is? It's porno writing. My young boy oh. and a young woman child. Oh. A barrack favorite, you see, is whereupon we read a delightful tale of perhaps a young woman who pleasures herself with the body parts of another. Yes. And whereupon my fellow brethren and I, Johnny, with hair spoon, <laughs> and I were whereupon we were reading a story of a young woman who found herself travelling alone at night, whereupon she ran into a man who offered her a favour to hear, <laughs> and whereupon they kissed. Wow. Oh. And she performed acts yes. upon him, of which she pleasured him. Okay. Yes. Yep, that's probably enough no, no, detail. More, more. I want to no. know every detail. No, nope, I don't think no. so. That's, Child, no. I would not 
oh. disclose this sort of information in the presence of a young woman person such as yourself. Oh, well, I mean, I could handle it. I just don't think I Worry want not to. to be a woman child. I shall not. Continuing on. Man. Yeah, please. There we are. <laughs> Samuel J. Tweedy of the 7th Arkansas Infantry Regiment, mm-hmm. accompanied by my fellow brethren. Jonathan, with hair swoon, right? Sharing amongst ourselves a bottle of rot gut. Yeah. Dizzy with twilight upon our irises, hmm. whereupon we are sharing the delightful tales of a barrack favorite. Yeah. Right. Whereupon I capture his gaze. And in that blessed moment, Johnny with hair swoon places his hand upon my thighs, and we became more than oh. brethren that oh. evening on the dawn of the Battle oh. of Shiloh. Oh, oh. no. Okay. Oh, no. This yeah. is not ancient Greece or modern day Greece for that matter. I mean, obviously, there were not gay men in the history of America. What are you, are you kidding, guy? Uh, I, you, you want to talk to me about the um, human nature? Mm. Our nature is to bone each other, and everyone got their oh. own flavor of bone, yo. Listen, Samuel, yes. this is a beautiful story. Oh. Yeah, beautiful. I think it's no, very listen, lovely. I entered this conversation to squeal on the nature of war and Darwinism yeah. and society and violence. Right. So, and I did not sign up for gay civil war erotica. <laughs> so I am <laughs> out. All right. Yes. Your choice, it I guess. It is a delight, dear woman, yeah. young woman, child, to be honored with your solitary presence. I agree. <laughs> a yeah. man of more common persuasions might need the permission of your husband folk, but I do hope you'll understand that whereupon my intentions are merely to yeah. inform, educate, and if I may be so lucky, thereupon to entertain. <laughs> yeah, well, yes to everything. I like you, Samuel oh, Tweedy. Yes. Mutual feelings, dear young woman, child. Oh my goodness. Okay, so you're the only person mm-hmm. I know that's actually fought in combat, mm. and everyone yes. today had a lot of opinions, and I'm I'm wondering yes. what your opinion oh. of war is. You My know? darling. Why do we fight? Young woman, child, person. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I cannot no longer, whereupon, deliver the information to you of why we battle one another. Mm. For herein I will disclose to you that I witnessed at the Battle of Shiloh more than my brethren. My more than brethren, my more than brethren, Johnny with her spoon blasted by gunfire, propelled mm. yards in the distance, whereupon I witnessed him perish in oh. front of mine eyes, oh where once god. twilight and the warmth of his gaze had set. Oh my god, that's terrible. I will share this with you in, that in battle. I saw men at their most violent, raging mm. with fear and anger. Yeah. When you are there upon the front lines of battle, and you are enraged with the fire of hell coming forth from underneath your feet, penetrating your very soul, propelling you forward with cannon fire, whereupon you do not remember mm. why you are fighting. It is no longer present in your mind. It is absent. Mm. Wow. This is my dear young woman, child, I will tell you, as a dear friend once said, mm. war is... Hell, most assuredly, those men who have declared war thus never fought on the front lines of battles. Yeah, sure. Once thou has witnessed the perishing of your brethren, and you're more than brethren, Johnny, hmm. with hair spoon, mm. and the bloodied eyes of those whose lives you've taken, whereupon they are gazing at the heavens, seeking salvation from your gunfire, child, you would not declare war. Hmm. Yeah. I believe, then, that war is an idea. Hmm. It is an idea that one man once had, and it was not a good idea. Yeah. He himself might have been in a position of power, and he said to those men below him, I will give you these things whereupon you fight for them, and so did they, and thus war. My dear young woman, mm. child, I wow. stand with you in utter disbelief and horror at the result of the bloodbath that is war, and I fear now. For your generation, herein you'll find yourself at distance from war. You no longer are within the lines of battle, fighting and facing your your enemy in its eye before taking its life. Sure. No, you are operating on the God-forsaken instruments of technology mm. from the skies. You do not see thine enemy's mm. eyes. You are at a distance, my mm. child, and I true, true, true. for you now and for the world. Yeah, yeah, I'm with for you there. child. If we are thereupon capable of standing in the surge of battle and taking upon the life of thine enemy whilst looking him in the eye, I fear, my child, what your world might be capable of if you cannot see Mm. your own enemy's eyes. Yeah. Damn. That is intense and beautiful. Yes. 
I don't, I don't know what to my say. My pleasure. That's amazing. Yeah, thank, thank you. Pleasure. Thank you for sharing that with yes. me. Thank you for joining yes, me. Yes, my dear. Now, do you happen to have any Barrick favorites? Uh, no, but we have the internet now, so whatever you're looking for, you're going to be oh. able to find. You can just find it all. Okay, is that so? Yeah, I mean, hmm. any flavor of what you, whatever you got going oh, on I there, it's fine. I always fancied myself a goat. Oh, no, 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 nope, nope. I'm sorry, I gotta draw the line at bestiality. Oh, oh That's my a, child, how revolting is your mind that you would consider that I would wear upon uh, lay with an animal? No, my child. <sighs> I fancy myself a goat in that, huh? in the violent storm of blood that rains down in battle, I often imagine myself as a goat. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. Well, that's weird, but um, hmm. I guess not disturbing well, or immoral. I often fancy myself a zebra as well. A striped horse from the country wherein my enslaved brethren departed. Ah. Uh, okay. Cool. I don't know why you're bringing that up, but I... I yes, oh, my no. child, I, I, I do apologize. Yeah. <laughs> my wits are intact. Bah. And perhaps... Nay. Uh, farewell. Oh, farewell. Farewell, my dear Walden. Oh. Uh, young woman, child. Yes, okay, okay. Yes, I, um... Okay, I felt like that was more of a sheep and a horse kind of thing, but bye. I go, okay, he just kind of left. Uh, down in the barrel said, you don't have to be so barrel now. You don't have to be so mad. You don't have to do the mom. Thank you so much. That's it for this episode of Tank. You're still here. I love that about you. I'm in love with you. Seriously, we've got to, like, this is, there's something happening here. Like, there's something starting, isn't it? Like, there's a, there's a thing brewing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm into it. Are you into it? You're into it because you're here. Oh, man. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Uh, listen, a new episode, ep- episode, a new episode drops every Sunday. I'll stop talking like that. New episode drops every single Sunday. Next week, we're going to be talking about creativity and art and what it's like to go against the grain in society, to be an out-of-the-box thinker, if you will. Going to be joined by special guest Donna Johnson. She is head of the Tea Party Women's Group, along with every single PTA in every single community. You know who I'm talking about. Also going to be joined by Vegina Polanski. She has a PhD in Women's Studies and in art history. She is an incredible professor. She has a lot to say about art and creativity. She'll be joining us. It's a really fun episode. I can't wait for you to join me on that one next Sunday. Special thanks goes to Dan Schumland. Dan Schumland is the genius mastermind behind the intro outro track that you're hearing. Uh, yeah, so I basically recorded myself solo acapella singing into a microphone. I sent that to him and what he sent back was what you hear. I, that's it. It was that easy of a situation transaction. He is incredible. Dan Schumland. Oh, man, Dan Schumland. You are incredible. And I, can I say incredible one more time? Can I come up with a better adjective? I don't know. I don't know if I can, Dan. You rock my mind that much. Also, guys, if you haven't already, please, please, please find three people who will love this podcast and say, hey, like this chick is crazy. It's a funny podcast. Check it out. You'll love it. Send them a direct message, a private message. Go knock on their door, whatever. I don't care. Go Jehovah's Witness on them if you have to. 144,000 subscribers <laughs> is what we're going for. Uh, also, you can r- review and uh, rate this podcast on iTunes, which would be really cool. I'm just trying to get exposure. That's it. I, I can't do it alone. I need you. I need you. So please go and do that. Uh, and finally, social media at the tank podcast. That's Twitter. That's Facebook. That's uh, Instagram. Those are the only three at the tank podcast make sure you include the because if you don't you will be communicating with a weightlifting bro who has a podcast about weightlifting and he will be really confused when you start talking to him about the civil war and samuel day tweedy he's gonna be like what gay civil war soldiers who even are you so make sure you put the in there uh hashtag the tank podcast if you have any episodes ideas episodes ideas if you have any ideas about episodes you have some things you want me to talk about i will be happy to talk about them just let me know. Send me a direct message. I love talking with you. So please uh, chat me up. Is that a thing people say? I don't know. I'm so out of touch, guys. I really am. Maybe I should do an episode about how out of touch I am. Thank you so much for listening. This has been Tank, and you have been amazing. 
Until next Sunday. Bye bye. I was walking down the street one day when a big old tank got in my way. Yeah, he was fighting some nasty war. I said, Hey Joe, I've been there before. I looked the street down in the barrel, said, You don't have to be so feral, no. You don't have to be so mad. You don't have to do the bump of a bad man. You don't have to do anything you see. All I want you to is, all I want you to is. So weird Thanks to religion for being unclear Yeah, thanks to creepy guy In the back of church, oh Thanks to Tommy, no, it didn't hurt uh. Thanks to Billy, no, it didn't hurt Thanks to Molly, no It didn't hurt It didn't hurt It didn't hurt, no Wow This is tank.